Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I want to show you how to find this NPC here, the Midwife. If you're anything like me, you've gone through Deep Nest, and you want to get in and out of there as fast as possible, and you probably didn't do too much exploring. So, I'm going to do it for you. We're going to start off here in Deep Nest at the Distant Village Stag Station. And if you don't know where that Stag Station is, it's here on the map. We're going to make our way over to the left and then drop straight down. Yeah, like I said, when I came here the first time, I did not want to be here. I was getting the feels for all the spiders and stuff, and it, it just was not fun. Um, I don't have, like, arachnophobia or anything like that. I just would just don't know what's going to pop out at you, and it, it gets a little freaky. So anyway, once you get to here, there's not really too much else to go, uh, and it's really easy to, like, fall down. Um, and in this case, we actually do want to drop down to the very bottom. There we go. And so here we are on the map. And we're going to keep going over to the right. Already, the sounds and just everything creeping and crawling around is just like, Ugh. ah! Just like, like, things just come at you so fast. So again, here we are on the map. And we're going to keep going to the right. You see, oh, just like that. So this right here is the midwife, and it's a spider-like creature found in the southern part of Deep Nest. So we can talk to her. Oh, please, please don't be shy. There are some nasties about here, all right? Not me. I'm a friend to all and happy to serve a traveler bold as you. It's information you see? That I can provide, yes. Oh, yes. He he. This village above here, home to a sad creature. Hers is a tale of tragic exchange. Cost her and her people greatly, though I suspect she bore no regret in making it. He he. Yes, I know. I know. You're intrigued. You want to know the tale. Well, I'm sorry. I'd love to tell it, but I'm just very, very, very sorry. And I haven't eaten in some time. And, oh, I'm starving! <laughs> and so, she'll attack the knight until you hit her and she goes away. And she'll come back if we leave and come back into the room. So, let's see if she has more dialogue. If you've come across a midwife before, did that catch you off guard? Like, did that scare you or no? And then she'll come back if you leave and come back. My good friend, you wear that bright mark of relationship. Then you've met her, perhaps. Her who'd guard the mask? The gendered child? A sprightly thing, isn't she? Pale gift to the nest and the beast? and fair trade for sacrifice made. So the midwife here is definitely talking about Hera the Beast and how she made a sacrifice of herself to become a dreamer in order to get her child hornet. Long she's been distant. It too be our spirits well were she to grace us a visit home. So speaking about hornet at this point, I think. Oh, hee hee. I'm sorry. Our memories cause my mind to wander on such a silly diversion, especially when I'm oh so famished. And so I think she'll just keep doing that. I wonder if we can dash past her? Ooh. Can we, can we dream nail? Oh, we might need a... What? Oh, that was perfect. I thought I could dream nail for sure. Okay, so you can't dream nail her, but maybe we can get some more dialogue. Well, you can't dream nail her while she's moving. Maybe we can dream nail her while she's stationary. God, get out, get out! All right, so no dream nailing. Ah, it returns. I do apologize about before. No matter, no matter. My appetite off gets the better of me. For now, at least, I'm content. Would you hear about myself? There's not so much to say. I'm a servant to the nest. Though few in recent times would seek my service. Our brood is lost to that pestilence of a mind. 
Our brood is lost to that pestilence of the mind, a sad fall for the most intelligent species. Ah, but, hmm, I've eaten, yes, in full. Then again, another little morsel would help me happy. Ah, but, hmm, I've eaten, yes, in full. Then again, another little morsel would make me oh so happy. The perfect end to a meal. Oh, she didn't even attack this time. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's try one more time, see if she's got any more dialogue. My dear, aren't you so kind? Checking again on my well-being? I'm ever the caring... I'm ever the caring host. I can't understand why more don't visit in your manner. No, you won't mind me taking just a little bite. Just a leg, perhaps? A full belly is the best path to happiness. No, no, not today. I have a feeling that's the last little bit of dialogue, just because she didn't give us anything extra. Yep, that was it. The midwife is one of the few NPCs who can be hit with the nail without taking damage. The others being the Grubfather, Steel Soul Jin, Mr. Mushroom, Melaby, and Bardoon. Midwife is also one of the few NPCs who are able to detect when they're being dream nailed. The others are the White Lady, the Seer, Bardoon, and the Nail Shaman. And the midwife is the only NPC in the game who can hurt the knight, but is never fought as an actual enemy. Interesting. It would be really cool if you could just give her a couple of rancid eggs. There's extra dialogue when you're wearing the Weaver Song Charm, so let's go get that equipped right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and equip the charm. And we'll fast travel back. Okay, so let's see what the new dialogue turns out to be. Oh, he he been prying about the new weaver's home. Have you, my dear? Quite brazen to pilfer that special charm. Amazing things the weavers once crafted on their looms. Stories, shields, spells, so much of our history was spun upon their spools. Your little friends here are testament to their talents. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, I do apologize. I just felt a rumbling down below in my belly. Just wait there right a moment. Don't you move now. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, so let's see what else she says. I thought it was interesting when she talked about how much could be spun on their the weaver's looms. I don't know. That seems like uh, that might be a, a little hint towards Silk Song or, or something going on there. My dear, aren't you so kind checking on my well-being? Okay, so nothing new here. Now let's check to see if we can dream nail her now that we have the Weaver song. Just because you're suddenly rich with threaded friends, don't think you're welcome in my mind. Out, out, out. Ah, interesting. Okay. Slightly different. Let's see if it changes. Nope. It's the same thing. So just like that, we got the midwife and a little bit of extra lore from her. If you want to know even more about different NPCs, go ahead and click on the short playlist over on the left-hand side. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more soon.